Well, what's up YouTube? This is the Whisker Boater Channel. My name is Chad and on board a Thirsty Whale. And um, today I'm going to show you the salon and galley of this Chris Craft 381 that uh, we absolutely have just fallen in love with. So we'll start with the galley and then I'll kind of uh, work my way around the, the salon here and show you what's been done to it. All right, so starting with the galley, up above here we have nice big storage areas uh, for, this is our, our drink station. Everything from coffee to wine glasses to mixing cups, shot glasses, and of course, solo cups. These bins are nice and big, plenty big to also hold a stack of plates, snacks, some plasticware. I did recently just go around the entire boat and get all this stuff cleaned up. This was, uh, this stuff has shrunk over the years and the corners, um, every, every corner on the cabinets and on, around the windows was pulling away. So, so I just got those looking better. So if we come down, I've got a newer Norcold refrigerator with a freezer and a refrigerator. Over here we have the coffee maker that's sitting on the cutting board and underneath here is a three burner stove. Down here we've got a newer microwave and down there more storage for utensils and pans and, and that sort of thing. Coming over here we've got drawers that also have utensils in them as well as other kitchen supplies that may be necessary. Down there is more storage and underneath here more storage. Pots, pans, silverware, trash bags for taking the dogs out, and uh, cleaning supplies. The amount of space on this boat is incredible. Trash can does have the placard for dumping garbage offshore. We've got a nice stainless sink here, and nice uh, big counter space with a stainless backsplash. The countertops may get replaced at some point. I, I've got to find a way if I'm going to do that to keep or keep the railing because I don't want to. I don't want to lose this vintage touch of this boat. Countertops might get replaced at some point, but the bar looks fantastic. Previous owner refinished or refaced the bar. Got some nice bar stools that go well with the boat, and nice big windows. On either side that are tinted and screened in another video you can see uh, how i installed the custom blinds that i ordered these are from home depot level or blinds that uh, give some privacy and some nice block nice light blocking very nice addition to the boat curtains that were in here before were not on board so the windows were just open but they look really nice now over here we have the power panel for the boat turn everything on and off here and everything's nicely laid out easy to understand over here we have the side insurance door opens up Give some nice uh, additional fresh air, teak step to board and leave the boat. Of course, you've got a lifeline chain there. Back here, we've got a little hanging spot for whatever you want to hang. Same up here. This is boat keys. Down here, we have storage for more cleaning supplies, first aid kit, doggy life jackets. Uh, the polishing equipment is all in there. And that's the entrance to the master stateroom. You've seen that. Here's our air conditioning control. Air conditioner condensers under there. And here we have my toolbox storage. And the companionway stairs are nicely refinished as well. Previous owner did these. Companionway here. It has a see-through companionway door nice vintage clock 
And down here, this is the blower for the air conditioner. Again, more counter space to put stuff on. Jersey's enjoying a video, as always. Up here, we have the liquor ledge and the stereo. Stereo is going to get replaced with a Bluetooth, uh, Bluetooth capable uh, receiver head over the winter. This here is a battery battery bank uh, system voltage thing. I don't think it works. I'll have to look into that over the winter. And then same thing on this side, tinted windows and custom blinds that were just installed. Very nice. Got a uh, vintage lamp over here on a more modern, <laughs> more modern um, mount. I don't know if this is original to the boat. I doubt it. Um, not sure what I'm gonna do with that lamp sheet yet. If that's gonna stay or go. TV mounted on the wall, and then the forward entrance to the VIP stateroom. The flooring in the salon is all new. This is uh, Nautic, Nautic Teak or Nautic Flex, something like that. It's a uh, Swiss flooring that uh, the previous owner did and they also put in new couches both of these couches fold out into beds and then underneath that one where jersey's laying is uh additional storage there's also space underneath the couches to put stuff if we need to and this is the engine hatch which there'll be a full engine room tour coming up as well so this is the salon of Chris Craft Catalina 381 Thirsty Whale. Huge space. So thanks for watching this quick episode of the Wisco Boater Channel, tour of the salon area on the Chris Craft 381 Thirsty Whale. Hope you enjoyed it. Hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, send me some comments if you want to. And if you want to be notified when I post new videos like this one, hit that notification bell. We'll see you next time on the Wisco Boater Channel. Happy boating, everybody.